What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Character Profiles. This week we're doing the original series and we're doing Rebecca Hawkins. So first up, her English name is Rebecca Hawkins. In the Japanese, she's known as Rebecca Hopkins. Her age in her debut in the Japanese version was 12, whereas in the dub it was 8. Her anime debut was in Yu-Gi-Oh! Episode 41, The Wrath of Rebecca. And here are her wins and losses and here is her dual score. So a quick gist on the character, Rebecca is in the original Japanese version the youngest person to become the American Duel Monsters champion, which was formerly held by Bandit Keith. In the English anime, she is the Intercontinental Champion. Rebecca is also the granddaughter of Arthur Hawkins, a close friend of Solomon Muto. Now, she was 12 years old in the original Japanese version. However, she was 8 in the dub and then 10 during the Wake in the Dragon's arc, so I wonder why they changed the age of her. Hmm. So when Rebecca is first seen, she has long, dirty blonde hair and bright green eyes. She wore her hair in pigtails whilst wearing a pink jumper and a red dress. She was usually seen with her teddy bear by her side. Later appearances, her hair becomes lighter. During the Waking the Dragons arc, Rebecca appears noticeably older looking and wearing glasses. She wears a shirt with a tie and a pink cardigan over the top. As well, she wore a checkered skirt. She also now wears glasses. She looks so different that everybody barely recognizes her. As well, she's also in college, much to the shock of Yugi and the gang. During the Grand Championship arc, her appearance is very different. She still keeps the short skirt, but wears thigh-high socks to cover her legs. She also wears light blue top over a grey t-shirt and has reverted back to having her hair in pigtails, which was a shame, it looked better down. Rebecca appears to have very high intellect for her age. Not only was she able to play Duel Monsters at such an early age, she was also able to hack the Kybercorp computer system to track other duelists via their duel discs. As well, she helped in the battle against Dart by doing some research on them. Rebecca seems to be under the delusion that Yugi was her boyfriend, her darling in the Japanese version. This usually makes Tear Gardner jealous. This also didn't seem to be a pretend crush as she was devastated when Yugi's soul was taken and tried to defeat Valon in vengeance. However, she and Duke were defeated defeated by Valen easily. In the Japanese version of the final episode, Rebecca made her final appearance by hugging Yugi at the airport while Taya glared at the scene, which was pretty funny. However, this scene was actually placed at the end of the Grand Championship arc in the English dub, which was weird. Rebecca is the granddaughter of Arthur Hawkins, an old friend of Yugi Moto's grandfather. Rebecca encountered Yugi as he returns from Duelist Kingdom. She accused Solomon of stealing her grandfather's prized blue eyes white dragon and demanded he duel her for it. Since Solomon couldn't duel, Yugi dueled in his place. During the duel, Solomon recounted the story of him and Arthur, how they both got trapped inside of a tomb with only enough supplies for just one person to live. In the end, they ended up dueling for the last of the supplies. During Yugi and Rebecca's duel, Rebecca discarded various cards mirroring the duel that both Solomon and Arthur had had before. However, she discarded the cards feeling they were weak, when instead Arthur had cherished every single card he had sent to the graveyard. After Yugi conceded the duel, which also mirrored the duel between Solomon and Arthur, when Rebecca demanded the card and saw that it was torn in pieces, she became very angry, unaware that it was actually Seto Kaiba who had torn the card in half. Despite Despite this, Arthur Hawkins appeared to shed some light on the situation. He showed Rebecca the card Yugi had drawn before he forfeited. The card was Soul Release, which would have allowed Yugi to remove five monsters from her graveyard, which would have weakened the Shadow Ghoul just enough for Yugi's Dark Magician to destroy it. Yugi admitted that he surrendered on purpose just as his grandfather did to let Arthur take the rest of the water. When they were rescued, Arthur was so grateful that he gave his Blue Eyes card to Solomon. After learning about the story, Rebecca quickly apologised for being mean to Yugi and not listening to his side of the story. Yugi gave Rebecca his Ties of Friendship card as a reminder of this lesson, which she kept ever since. 
Rebecca originally utilizes her grandfather's Shadow Ghoul deck, focused around loading the graveyard with monster cards through cards such as Judgment Blaster. In addition, she also uses a large quantity of cards which give her hand advantage, such as Skell Angel and Sangan. During the Waking the Dragons arc, even though she didn't duel much, it could be seen that she used a dragon style deck, including Luster Dragon number two and Luster Dragon. During the Grand Championship, Rebecca uses a dragon anti-cure deck. Her main strategy is using Fire Princess along with Marie the Fallen One to constantly inflict damage. She also utilizes a large quantity of stall cards such as Gravity Bind and Imperial Order. And with that guys, that's another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Character Profiles done. If you'd like to vote for the next character, then why not head over to my Twitter and vote there. Thanks a lot for watching.